multiply a fraction by a whole number using a model. And we've been doing models for the last couple of days, so this should be new to you. Let's read the first problem. Raphael practices the violin for three-fourths hour each day. He has a recital in three days. How much time will he practice in three days? So there's your question. How much time will he practice in three days? What is he practicing each hour, or each day, excuse me? Three-fourths of an hour. And how many days is he going to be doing that? Three, because his recital is in three days. Take a look at the right. How many equal groups of three-fourths should you model? How many groups are we going to do? Three. Three because of the three days. So they drew a model for you. You're going to use it to mod multiply the three days times your three-fourths of an hour. So three times the three-fourths is three groups of three-fourths of a whole. So we're going to shade the model to show the three groups of three-fourths. So on the first day, you're going to shade what? Three-fourths of it. And on the second day, three-fourths again, because each day he's doing three-fourths of an hour. And on the third day, three-fourths as well. So the three models are your three days, your three-fourths that you shaded for each day. One group of three-fourths gives you what? One group of three-fourths, what do you have shaded? Three-fourths. If I make that two groups of three-fourths, how many do I have shaded? Six-fourths. So this is like what we did yesterday with our multiples. Three groups of three-fourths. Nine-fourths. Nine so that means that three times the three-fourths gives you nine-fourths. So that means that Raphael will practice for nine-fourths hours in all. Now, yesterday we took the three times the three, remember that? And we wrote out nine and then we took it times the one-fourth for the unit fraction. Today you're not using the unit fraction, you're using the fraction greater than one. So some of you that tried to do nine-fourths for your answer to yesterday are going to be able to use that today. Because yesterday it asked us to write a whole number in a unit fraction. Did anyone ask us that today? No, it just asked us to multiply. Okay, so that is the difference between what we were trying to do yesterday and what we're now doing today. Let's read number one. Explain how you can use repeated addition with the model to find the product of three times three fourths. So take a look at your model. How would I use repeated addition? What am I doing every time? So how many times am I going to add three fourths if I'm using repeated addition? Three times. So you, it would look something like this: three fourths plus three fourths plus three-fourths equals your, what'd you get? Nine-fourths. Nine now, we have to explain, so there are how many circles? Three circles. And what is shaded? With three-fourths. So basically what we did is we used each model as an add-in. First model was three-fourths, the second model was three-fourths, and the third model was three-fourths, and we added those together. So there are three circles with three-fourths to be shaded. So be able to tell me what you do in the words down here to explain. Now, did we take 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths the first time we did it? No, we used the multiplication method, but you can still use repeated addition if that's what you need to do. Number two says Raphael's daily practice of 3 fourths of an hour is in sessions that last for a fourth of an hour each. Describe how the model would show the number of practice sessions that Raphael has in three days. I want you to look carefully at this. 
He has to practice for three quarters of an hour, we know that, correct? But he's going to put them in sessions of a fourth of an hour each. So that means one session he's doing in a fourth of an hour. And then he might do another session later on for a fourth of an hour. And then he might do another one later on for another fourth of an hour. So what's it asking you is to describe how that model up there shows you the number of practice sessions that Raphael has in three days. So if I was using just one of these models, how does this show what he's doing each day and then in three days? What do you see in every one of them shaded? Okay, so how many sessions does he have per day? So he has three sessions per day, right? Okay, so what would he have the next day? Six. Total, but three more, right? And then the third day he would have? Nine. Nine. So our total number of four size pieces that are shaded is the number of practice sessions that he's going to have. So the number, I'll let you use the number symbol. A fourth, you can write that out in words, size, pieces, that are shaded, is the number of practice sessions. That means he will have how many total sessions? Nine. Three different sessions in one day, three different sessions in another day, and three different sessions in the last day for a total of nine sessions. So please remind me. I want you to really think about that one. So we'll come back to it. Every finish with us so I can turn. All right, ready for the next one. Here's an example number two. This one is where we're going to use a pattern to multiply. We know how to use a model, and we know how to use repeated addition to multiply a fraction by a whole number. We've done those before. Now we're going to look for a pattern in the table to discover another way to multiply a fraction by a whole number. So let's take a look at what they're doing. Got a multiplication problem here with a model. Then you have a whole number, which is the number of groups, with your fraction, which is the size of your groups, to get a product, which is your answer, right? Yes? Thank you. So let's take a look at this. What is it divided into? Six. So they have how many parts? There's one in this one and one in this one. So that's a total of two. Do you see where they put that? So the shaded parts is what is going to be in blue. Is yours blue? Okay. And then they're multiplying it by the, the size pieces. So two times one six. Do you see the multiplication problem? Because this is nothing new. This is something we've been doing for the last couple of days, right? Okay, so now they're breaking it up. Two is your number of groups. So how many did you have? Two. Your fraction is? The one six. That's the size that you have. And then when we multiply it out, we're going to get what? And how do we do that? Can somebody explain to me how I get from here to here? Kinsey. Okay, and then you put it over the denominator, which is going to be the amount of pieces or the size of the pieces, right? So does the denominator ever change in this? No. So she's taking two times one to get the two, putting the six on the bottom. Does everybody see how she got it? Because that's a lot, a lot of what you're going to do today. All right, let's look at the second one. Now, how many groups do I have this time? I still have two groups. This is one group. This is another group. So I still have two, but this time, what's shaded? No. What's shaded in each one? Two, six. So they have one group that has two, six shaded, and one group that has two, six shaded. So look at your multiplication problem. It doesn't say two times four, six, now does it? 
No, because you're taking two groups, and in each group, there's only two six shaded. See how this is working? What's your whole number? Because of how many groups you have. What's your fraction? Because of how much is shaded. Now look at what you get for your answer. 2 times 2 is 4 over the denominator of 6. Okay, go to the next one. How many groups do we have? Still two groups. Has this changed and gotten any bigger? Nope, there's still two of these lovely crashing strips. Now how much is shaded? 3, 6 in each one. So look at your multiplication problem. Read it with me. 2 times 3, 6. My whole number is? My fraction is? And when I multiply, I'm going to get? Six, six. If you would take this part and move it up here, what would you have? Which is a whole. And that would mean that this down here wouldn't have any. But since we're doing two groups, it's going to look like that. Does everybody see how if I put them together, it would give you one whole? All right, so when you multiply a fraction by a whole number, the numerator in the product, think about all these words, is the product of the what and the what of the fraction. So, the numerator in the product, which is right here and here and here, with me, is the product of what and what. So what did we multiply? Which part of this? The whole number, so that's what you're going to put here. And we took it times the numerator. Now we have to kind of know what all those words mean. It says the denominator in the product is the same as the what of the fraction? What did we just talk about? Does the denominator change? So the denominator of the product is going to be the, but what's it going to be of the fraction? It's still the same, which means I'm going to write what right here? No, you're not going to say the denominator in the product is the same as the same of the fraction. So the denominator in the product is the same as the... You got it from here. What do we call this? It's the same word, denominator in the fraction. So it's going to be the same, but we already had the words the same, so we couldn't write those words. So that wants to tell you that the denominator in your product will be the same as the denominator in your fraction you started with. Okay? That's what they want you to get out of this. Don't change your denominator on this. Okay? Now we're going to summarize some things. How do you multiply a fraction by a whole number without using a model or repeated addition? Did we just kind of do that? Now there's a model there, but what if I took that model away? Can I do it? Yes. Did we do it without it? Yes. Okay, so can somebody explain it to me? One percent. Cheyenne, can you explain it to me? Good. Perfect, so it's exactly what we said right here, right? <coughs> Isn't it? Okay, so we're going to write that. So she said to multiply the whole number. By the numerator, and use the same denominator. So we've done it with repeated addition, we've done it with models. But do we have to? No, as long as you know to multiply your whole number by the numerator and put 